How much should you pay when you get your RV washed? The answer to that question has a lot of variables and I've traveled all over the country washing RVs and I also have needed to get my RV cleaned as an RVer. So I've made a lot of relationships with a lot of different RV detail companies and RVers. And I recently did some research trying to figure out what the going rates are for 2023 going into the 24 season for RV washing and detailing. And those of you that regularly follow the channel know that I'm frequently hanging out here at the Motor Coach store where right now they're just wrapping up a wash on a beautiful Prevo Marathon coach that just came in. And we're hanging out in the back of the Gretsch Strata Ion and thought I'd make a quick video just sharing with you guys what I've recently learned. Now the Motor Coach store has a boutique, more of a detail restoration department. And we're gonna be doing a video in the near future showing all of the different services that they do like a bug shield removal, headlight restoration, paint correction, roof sealing, uh, lots of different services that go more into restoration than detailing, but I've called some of my friends around the country and want to give you today's rates at what you should expect to pay for an RV wash. And I also want to tell you some of the questions that you should ask RV detailers before letting them wash your coach. I've seen a lot of instances where you can do more damage than good. Detailing your RV can get very expensive, and sometimes there's some other things that I highly recommend making sure you upgrade in your RV before you spend that money on the detail. No matter how clean your RV is, it's really important that you get a good night's rest. And that's why we've partnered with RVmattress.com to get viewers of the channel a 25% off discount using the coupon code Andrew Steele at RVmattress.com. I'll make sure to leave that in the description below. And Brooklyn Bedding does have all different sizes of mattresses that will fit in your RV and I also use a Brooklyn Bedding Firm Aurora mattress at home. I've been using it for over a year now. It's an extremely high quality mattress. I get a great night's rest on it and one of the other great parts about Brooklyn Bedding mattresses is they have free shipping, a 90 night sleep trial, a 10 year warranty and when they send it to you they send it in a box so that it's easy to unbox. You don't have to mess around with going to mattress stores and because they're cutting out the mattress stores and retail locations, you're getting that factory direct pricing. And they are designed in my home state of Arizona. And they are the 2023 Good Housekeeping Family Travel Award winner. And a lot of times these higher quality RVs still have the original mattress. So you definitely owe it to yourself to upgrade your mattress to a Brooklyn bedding mattress before you go spend a bunch of money on an RV detail. Huge thanks to Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring sponsoring today's video and now let's get into RV wash prices nationwide. Typically you can get better rates at RV resorts because there's you know typically hundreds of RVs lined up there's enough demand where a detailer can stay busy in one resort and offer pretty competitive prices. A lot of times they don't have to pay marketing costs because if they get a good reputation within the resort they'll be able to stay plenty busy and that can go both ways ways because the RV community is so tight knit that if someone's doing a bad job, word can get around quickly. There are a lot of the best RV detail companies coming and going. When I started making these YouTube videos, unfortunately, I felt terrible letting my customers down, but I did pass those leads on to some of my trusted friends that I knew would provide them with top quality service. But there's always different companies popping up, and I'd say not very many companies last over 10 years in the RV detail business. So keep in mind that all two washes are not created equally. And another popular detail service that has been popping up is ceramic coatings. And towards the end of the video, I want to talk about ceramic coating prices and give you my thoughts on ceramic coatings. But starting with RV wash prices, I'm hearing anything from $150 to $250, a one of the big very 
variables is whether the roof gets washed or not. People are saying closer to $250 to wash the coach from the roof down. Now, depending on where you are in the country, it is very important that they are using deionized water when washing coaches. If you spray the side of a coach with hard water, those hard water spots will immediately start to bake in. Even if people have filters, sometimes they let the filters go bad, so it appears like they have deionized water, but it's actually hard water just going through a burnt up filter. You can get a TDS total dissolved solvent meter at either Ace Hardware or Home Depot. You can order them online. I'll leave an Amazon link in the description below where you can test the hardness of the water. And if it's triple zero PPM parts per million on the TDS meter, that means that you can just wash it and walk away like these guys behind us. Well, I've been making this video. They wash the side of that coach. They walked away and it's drying spot free because they're using deionized water here at the motor coach store. But if you have a really expensive paint job like a Liberty coach with a Dean Lauchs paint job or a newer late model uh, Newell, or even if you have, you know, your glass can get etched and that can get really expensive just doing hard water spot removal on the glass. That's something we're going to talk about here in future videos at the motor coach store. That's going to be a service that they offer a la carte, just removing hard water spots. One bad wash can get hard water spots all over your windows and that can get really expensive to remove. If you're really worried about that, get a TDS meter and when they start spraying the water, just ask if you can get some of the water that they're using into a cup and then test it. And if it's reading over 006 over 10. I mean, they say you can maybe go up to 40 without causing damage, but really if it's 100 or 200 or more, I would not let them wash your coach. Now for wash and waxes, I have heard people quote, someone in the comments said it used to be 300, now it's 450. I called a reputable detailer in South Florida that I have a lot of respect for. And he said this season, his wash prices would have been about 200 and about 675 to 750 for a detail, depending at how far in depth they go. Unfortunately, that detail company had some problems where they had to stop doing RVs and they're only doing cars right now. I mean, it is a tough business to stay competitive in. So keep that in mind when you are hiring these RV detailers. I guarantee you these guys are not getting rich off of you, no matter how much you think they're making too much money. It's a very tough business and I've never seen a guy in a, a you know RV detail company running around in a private jet or a new Rolls Royce or anything like that. I did know a detailer that did have a late model Newell. Now I don't know you know what his financial circumstances were and you know what other incomes he had, but usually it takes multiple incomes to make something like that work. I don't think that particular detailer bought that Newell from detailing coaches. A gentleman Tom uh, mentioned that in Orange Beach, Alabama, they're paying five hundred and forty dollars for a wash and a wax. I think that's a fair price. A friend of the channel, Tom Klaus, said that it's $200 in Petoskey, Michigan to get a wash. Our good friend David Lowe, a Newell coach owner, mentioned he got his coach washed at the regatta in Oklahoma for $120. That's an absolutely smoking deal. Folks, when you know you get too good of a deal, make sure you're tipping these folks well. I know that company is using deionized water. My good buddy, David Higginbotham, them said it's 450 to wash wax dress the tires on his fifth wheel in Mesa, Arizona. Our good friend Heather from Midlife Prevo said it's a $250 for a wash on their Prevo down in Mesa, Arizona. A gentleman, Patrick, said $75 for a wash down in Corpus Christi, Texas. Now, keep in mind, truck washes usually are not the same level of care of an RV wash, and you can usually get a truck wash for like $50 to $70, I believe, just like Blue Beacon. They call the Streak and Beacon because they usually have hard water spots running all over the side of the coach. I'm not a big fan, but if you just need to get snow or the bugs off, sometimes that does work. Our friends with Hayes Detailing, they're up in Montana, Polson, Montana in the summers and down in Indio, California. I've heard a lot of good things about the folks at Hayes Detailing. They're charging $4 a foot for a wash and a wax and a 45 foot motorhome is $600. I think that's very fair. And I've seen them working when I'm up at Polson Motor Coach Resort. I've got to tip my hat to uh, Hayes 
case detailing. Our friend of the channel, John Herthel, is saying in Goodyear, Arizona, they're paying $11 a foot for a wash and a wax. And our friend Matt in Central Florida is saying $500 to $600 for a wash and a wax with a two-person crew and they're using scaffolding without doing the roof. Ed is saying that it's about 130 washing and then with a machine wax is 725 on a 45 foot coach down in San Diego and Riverside, California area. Lately, ceramic coatings have been really coming up on the market. I did some videos early on making this YouTube channel when I was still detailing motorhomes. Ceramic coatings do provide value. They do provide some UV protection like a wax wood they also do have some self-cleaning properties but the maintenance and you know taking care of them can get a little tricky I was recently talking to someone and they said well you get it ceramic coated but if you don't pay for their maintenance plan every six months then it voids the warranty so it can get very expensive on these ceramic coatings and any money that you spend detailing your coach you're probably not going to get back unless you're detailing it before you sell it which I always recommend getting it fully detailed before or you place it for sale. That's always important. Someone buying a coach is going to want to see it in its best condition. Ceramic coatings are kind of like wax on steroids. I would say it's 20% better than wax, but 500% more expensive. And then there's all different levels of ceramic coatings. I've tested the hard ones early on in this channel. You'll see some videos where we had like 50 50 shots, you know, showing, you know, how you can make the suds run off and you can do a lot of cool stuff with the cameras and with the water runoff to really sell ceramic coatings but when you see how they've held up after a year two years three years sometimes I don't think it's worth it to spend all that money I would rather personally have my RV washed and waxed five or six times twice a year at 500 a shot versus spending 3,000 on a ceramic coating when coaches have a fresh coat of wax on them they definitely stay clean longer and ceramic coatings just only have so much of a lifespan especially when they're out baking in the sun now now, some people do really like them, especially the show car guys. They do make it a little bit easier to clean, especially if you're storing your stuff indoors, keeping it super clean. You know, it is a little bit of a difference with a ceramic coating, but I'm not 100% sold. I'd rather spend that money on a Brooklyn bedding mattress, make sure I'm getting a good night's rest. I'd love to hear what your thoughts and opinions are, what you all are paying for wash and detail prices. Do you think these detail prices are fair? Please drop a comment below. Thanks to all of you that are subscribing to the channel. I hope you're all having a great day.